I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered a new life philosophy. It's know who you are moment by moment. Today, we're going to talk about how this applies to the mind. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I recently developed the idea of know who you are moment by moment. It's a new way of life. At first, this meant know the brain region you're thinking from, and that's who you are, moment by moment. Recently, I realized there's more to it. Knowing the brain region is only one part. There are three other parts to the story. The heart, the belly brain, and the mind. What are the functions of the head brain, the heart, and the belly brain? The head brain is to improve our lives financially and socially every day. The heart is to keep us healthy. The belly brain is for risk management. Learn these to help you know where you are. What are the feelings associated with the head brain, the heart, and the belly brain? For the head brain, it's anger, self-centered thinking, and pleasure. For the heart, it's kindness, empathy, and giving. For the belly brain, it's fear. Learn these to help you to know where your feeling is coming from. Let's talk about the fourth component, the mind. What's the function of the mind? Well, let's see if we can determine the function. Try this. Where are you thinking from when you're being creative? You're trying to solve a problem at home or at work, and you're developing a new concept for a product or a company. Where are you thinking from? Is it the head brain? Mm, yeah, you're, you're thinking from there. But it also feels like you're thinking from the heart and the belly brain. Let's talk about the fourth component, the mind. What's the function of the mind? Let's see if we can determine the function. Try this. Where are you thinking from when you're being creative? You're trying to solve a problem that just developed at home, or you're developing a new concept for a product or a company. Where are you thinking from? Is it the head brain? Yes, to some extent. But it also feels like you're thinking from the heart and the belly brain. And you consider this further, it feels like you're thinking from outside the body. And that's really the answer. The mind is outside the body, and creativity is the function. The mind is for creativity. What are the feelings associated with the mind? Courage. It takes courage to be your true self. It takes courage to know you need to be your true self. It takes courage to learn how to be your true self. Are there self. any other feelings? The feeling of total calmness, peace, and security. It's all there in the mind. And unconditional love and acceptance. How do you use the mind for creativity? Since the mind is outside the body, you need to access the mind in a different brainwave state. It's the alpha brainwave state at 10 cycles per second. The day-to-day -day brainwave state is beta brainwaves at 14 cycles per second, and that's where we experience the typical function and feelings of the brain and the heart during this brainwave state. The mind is outside the body and therefore outside this beta brainwave frequency, and therefore the function and feelings of the brain cannot be experienced. You need to be in the slower alpha brainwave state for creativity because the judgmental frontal lobe is offline and there are no distractions from the anger center and from that self-thinking How do you center. experience the alpha brainwave state? It's meditation. It's daydreaming. Experience these brainwaves while awake. Everyone knows the feeling of alpha brainwave time while awake because it's daydreaming. You may experience them through traditional sitting eyes closed meditation or eyes open during a walk while hiking in the mountains, during a slow jog, shoveling snow, or raking leaves on a cool The function fall of day. the mind is creativity, and the way to experience creativity is during the alpha brainwave state. How do you experience the feelings of the mind like total calmness, peace, and unconditional love. 
These feelings are again outside the body and outside the day-to-day beta brainwave state. Therefore, these feelings are experienced while in the alpha brainwave state. One way to do this is through a guided visualization that you develop. You can be sitting quietly with your eyes closed or your eyes open while walking, hiking, running, or Do you have an example activity. of experiencing these feelings in the mind? Take two people, two chairs, and one chair is someone who had a bad day, criticized, blamed, and yelled at all day, feeling bad and repeating over and over the bad events of the day. This person takes the latest pill to feel better. You're in the other chair. You have the courage to be your true self. You've eliminated thinking from the anger center and eliminated that self-thinking center as well. You need rejuvenation. Using your mind, you experience the feeling of no one taking anything from you, no criticism, no blame. You then experience the feeling of giving, giving without expecting anything in return. Using your mind, You experience the feeling of total calmness, security, and unconditional love. The person in the other chair is lifeless from the pill. You're filled with high energy, feeling good, and ready to enjoy life. Here's a call to action. The next time you see a group of people, realize that 99 out of 100 will be like that other person. There will be one person who knows who they are moment by moment. And that person is extraordinary. The courage to be your true self. The mind is for creativity and feelings include total calmness, peace, security, and unconditional love. You experience creativity and the feelings while in the alpha brainwave state. Do you have any closing comments? Know who you are moment by moment. You can know who you are moment by moment because there are four places you can be. And you can only be in one place at a time. You can be in your head brain to improve your life, in your heart to stay healthy, in your belly brain to protect you, and in your mind for creativity. Learn to eliminate being in the two unhealthy brain regions, the anger center and that stress-related self-thinking center. Learn the function and the feelings of the heart. Learn to listen to the nutrition and risk-benefit advice from the belly brain. Learn how to use creativity and feelings of total calmness, peace, and unconditional love from the mind. This is a new This way is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler living. closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about controlling your emotions and feelings.